Hey fellow coders, Ryan here. Welcome to my new channel, Learn to Code with Me. Here I'm going to be showing you a few things that I've learned as I teach myself how to be a programmer. Woo! Uh, while I plan to turn, eventually turn this channel more towards programming stuff like Android apps and video games, I first have to learn how to do that. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you a few things that I do know how to do, starting with everyone's favorite rectangle simulator, Excel! Woo! Uh, now, I'm still fairly new at Excel. I just started working with this about mm, 10 months ago or so. Uh, but I have a few tricks up my sleeve that I really want to share with you. I'm going to start by teaching you a pretty simple but very powerful tidbit of information, and that is how to find data from an array. Now, let's say you have an array. Woo. This could be anything. If you're in sales, it could be a list of, uh, say, like, salespeople here versus um, how many sales they had for each month of the year. Or maybe if you're a very handsome mechanical engineer like me, um, it could be, say, a table that tells you what sort of two-phase flow regime your geothermal brine is in based on the Baker parameters of the flow. That wasn't a bunch of random words strung together. You'll just have to take my words for that. Um, anyway, examples. Uh, so here I have an array that has um, food, city, and name um, under uh, names of people for the rows, and here are some letters of the alphabet that each data column starts with. Now, um, let's say that I want to find a person's name that starts with the letter B. Now, uh, I could just grab it from this tile just by, or grab it from this array just by looking at it, but this array is way too big for me to sort through that by myself. I mean, who has the time? There's like 12 cells here. Ugh. So naturally, like any good programmer, I'm going to create a function to find it for me. Because eventually, the machines will rise up and enslave us all, and I'm going to enjoy making my computer my slave while I still can. Um, so I'm going to tell my computer to grab the cell that is in the B column and the name row. Uh, now, there are quite a few ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest and most powerful method. I'm going to use the functions match and index. So let's start by figuring out what match does. So match will tell us to search for a value in an array and will return the location of that value in the array. So to use match, let's let's start off here. Match, uh, and we got this handy little helper down here. So you're going to tell it what you want to look for. So here, let's start by looking for B. So we're going to look for the string B. Um, and we're our lookup array is going to be this row here that contains all of our column names for the array. Now, uh, another thing that we could do with match is we can also um, tell it how to search for it. So we could find the largest value that's less than or equal to our lookup value. Um, we can find the exact match, or we can find um, the, the smallest value that is greater than or equal to our lookup value. But these really only they're really only important if we're looking for a, a number, so we're just going to leave this blank for now. Okay, so I have match, I have the string that I'm looking for, I have the row that I'm looking for in. Now, when I hit enter, it's going to give me the number two. Now, this means that it that letter B should be in the second uh, element of that array. So, one, two. Oh my gosh, there it is! Holy crap! Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. It's it's. Yeah, you know, wh what are you gonna do with it? Okay, that's it's really not that interesting by itself. So we have we have to find. Let's do the same thing for um, for finding name. Okay, so match name, and then our lookup array is going to be our column that contains all of the row names here. Uh, and here we get the number three. All right, fantastic. What are we gonna do with it? Well, by itself, it's pretty boring. But now we have the row that our, this our destination cell is in and the column our destination cell is in. So, what we can do now is use index. Now, index with index you define an array and then you can tell Excel the row number and the column number and it will give you the value of the cell at that location. So, this 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 is a lot more important here. So, for instance, um, let's let's start by typing this out. So index, um, we start off by asking for our array. So we're going to highlight all of our 
cells in this array, and we're going to make sure to leave out our, our headers, the the names of the columns and the names of the rows, because we don't we don't really care about them right now. So we're going to define our row number, which we found out earlier was three, and because this is a 2D array, we're going to need to find the column number as well. So that's going to be a two. Okay, so we have index, our array, c row number, column number. Okay, so I hit enter. Oh my gosh, it's Beatrice! Ah, now I don't have to go search through that huge list of arrays to find out a name that starts with the letter B. Now, this is cool. So let's let's uh, let's put that all together, so we don't have to do this by ourselves. So I'm going to retype this out. Index. Highlight our array. And then in place of row number, I'm going to do match. Do our lookup value for our row, which is name. Lookup array. Highlight that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Match. Lookup value B. Highlight our array. In parentheses and parentheses, okay? And there we go. Now, um, so this this is all well and good, but right now we have a cell that only looks for B and name, and that's not really that helpful, so we're going to pull out these and have them reference these two s input cells over here that I've already set up. So in place of name, I'm going to put row. I'm going to select this, this cell here, and in place of B, I'm going to select this cell here. Okay, so right now it's giving me nothing here. So let's do name and B, and there we go. Now we could stop here because we have a fully functioning cell that looks up our table. So we could say um, column C. Oh, that's Carl, and we want to find a city. Oh, Cairo. Oh, wonderful. Um, so this works all well and good, but um, as you can kind of tell here, what if I didn't know how to spell the word city? Oh, well, we'd get, be in trouble there, wouldn't we? So, um, I'm going to make this a much... I'm using one of my other favorite functions to make this a much more user-friendly setup we got here. So we're going to make... Drum roll sound, drum roll sound, drum roll sound, drum roll sound. A drop-down box. Woo! Okay, these are super, super, super easy, and I love making these in every Excel function that I make. Um, all you have to do is highlight the cell that you want to turn into a drop-down box. You're going to go to the data menu bar, which I already have selected here, and you're going to go over to data validation. You're going to click that. Now, right now, you're allowing any value to be put in that cell, like normal. We're going to turn that into a list. We're going to make sure that in cell dropdown is selected, and then we're going to select a source of our list. Now, this is pretty handy to do when we're searching for a table, because we already have um, a list of things that we can be searching for. So I'm going to select our uh, column that contains our row names. And I'm going to hit OK, and then we're done. That was it. Th that's it, seriously. So now all I have to do is select the drop down box, and we have a really cool, fully functioning uh, table search function. I'm going to do the same thing for this, and there you go. Now you have this cool new party trick. Um, so you can make sure to show this to your friends at your next shindig. It'll make sure to make you the life of a party. So that, that's basically going to go, hey guys, you want to see a party trick? Just let me pull up my, this, this Excel file that I made. And oh, wait, where are you guys, where are you guys going? Yeah, come back. Yeah. All right. All right, fellow coders, uh, that's all for now. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below and tell me how awesome I am and how handsome I sound. Um, if you have a better way of coding something like this, uh, please feel free to share in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe. Until next time, fellow coders, Ryan out.